You can watch other JLPT videos on my channel. Go to smilenihongo.com slash JLPT videos to go to the playlist. If you are studying kanji for JLPT N5 or N4, I recommend this book, Nihongo Challenge. You can find the link to the book in the description box below. 今日は JLPT N5 の漢字を勉強しましょう。Today, let's study 漢字 for JLPT N5. I'm going to specifically focus on the Japanese verbs, 動詞 that you have to know in 漢字 at the N5 level. I'll also give you small 漢字 quizzes, so see for yourself how much you understood from today's lesson. 最初の漢字はこれです。The first 漢字 is this one.This 漢字 means to see, look, or watch, and it has multiple readings assigned.But as I said, I'm going to only focus on the reading of this 漢字 as a verb, which is me.This verb is a ru verb, which is group two verb in some textbooks. And this is how you conjugate this verb for its plain form, mass form, and te form. Mi, ru, mi, ru, mi, mas, mi, mas, mi, te, mi, te. The hiragana part is called okurigana. And we use it to complete the kanji word. All of the Japanese verbs with kanji have okurigana because that's the part that we change to conjugate the verb. So please know this term, okurigana, okay? Okurigana is essential for you to study Japanese kanji. Now, let me show you how we use this verb in a sentence. For instance, with its plain form, miru, You can create a sentence like this. Do you understand the meaning of the sentence? うちでネットフリックスを見るのが好きです。そうですね。It means I like watching Netflix at home. うちでネットフリックスを見るのが好きです。By the way, today in each example sentence, I'm also going to use other kanji that might be beneficial for you to know for N5. So please pay attention to other kanji used in example sentences. では次の漢字です。Okay, here's the next 漢字。We use this kanji for the verb eat. Just like the previous kanji, this one also has multiple readings, but as a verb, we read this kanji, ta. That verb eat is also a ru verb or a group two verb, so you conjugate it like this. Ta, be, ru, taberu. た、べ、ます。食べます。た、べ、て、食べて。Please be careful with the おくりがな for this particular verb. It's not like this. It has to be like this. The べ is supposed to be in ひらがな because it's part of おくりがな for this verb. I often see my students write the verb eat in kanji like this, so I just wanted to point that out. Okay, here's an example sentence using its mass form. Do you understand the meaning? さかなは全然食べません。そうですね。The sentence means I don't eat fish at all. 
。魚は全然食べません。The masen ending here indicates the negative form of mas. And you can also use the particle o here and the sentence still means the same. I don't eat fish at all. However, marking sakana with the contrast marker wa sounds more natural because then you are implying that if it's fish, you don't eat at all, but you do eat many other things. では次の漢字です。Okay, here's the next kanji. We use this kanji for the verb drink, and the reading of this kanji is no as a verb. The verb drink is a u verb or a group one verb, and you conjugate it like this no, mu, no, mu, no, mi, mas. のみます。の、んで、のんで。Here's an example sentence using its te form. 意味がわかりますか ?Do you understand the meaning? 最近、野菜ジュースを飲んでいます。そうですね。The sentence means, I have been drinking vegetable juice lately. 最近野菜ジュースを飲んでいます。By the way, I'm also using only the N5 level grammar in these example sentences. So I hope you can figure out what each sentence means once you know how to read the kanji parts. ではクイズをしましょう。Okay, here's a quiz for you. How do you read these verbs and what do they mean? You can pause the video here and take as much time as you need. では答えです。Okay, here are the answers. のみます。みます。たべます。You can join this trial course to learn how to use Japanese verbs in mass form. It's a free mini course and you can sign up at smilenihongo.com slash mc3. Okay, let's continue with the lesson. I'm going to introduce three more kanji today. We use this kanji for the verb say or tell, and the reading of this kanji is i as a verb. This verb is a u verb or a group one verb, and you conjugate it like this. i, u, i, u, i, i, mas, i, mas. Here's an example sentence using its te form. 意味がわかりますか Do you understand the meaning? The sentence is a little longer this time. まことさんは来月東京に行くと言っていました。So this ne, the sentence means, Makoto-san said he's going to Tokyo next month. Makoto-san wa laigetsu Tokyo ni iku to itte imashita. The particle to here is the quotation particle to quote what Makoto-san said. Dewa tsugi no kanji desu. We use this kanji for the verb speak or talk, and the reading is hana for the verb. 
This verb is also a u verb or a group one verb, and you conjugate it like this. Hana su. Hana su. Hana shi mas. Hana shi mas. Hana shite. Hana shite. Here's an example sentence using its mas form. 意味がわかりますか父はスペイン語を少し話します。そうですね。The sentence means my father speaks a little Spanish. 父はスペイン語を少し話します。では、ここで、再びクイズです。Okay, here's another quiz for you. Can you read these verbs and choose the meaning for each verb? Please pause the video here and take as much time as you need. では答えです。OK, here are the answers. たべます。はなします。いいます。みます。のみます。I hope you are now getting comfortable reading these verbs with kanji. Okay, here's the last kanji for today's lesson. We use this kanji for the verb rest or be absent, and as a verb, we read it yasu. This is also a u verb or a group one verb, and you conjugate it like this. Yasu mu. Yasu mu. Yasu mi. Yasu mi mas. Yasu n de. Yasu n de. Here is an example sentence using its plain form. Ashita wa shigoto o yasumu tsumori desu. Imi wa nan desu ka? What does it mean? So this ne, it means I intend to take a break or be absent from work tomorrow. 明日は仕事を休むつもりです。Let's try one more sentence. What about this one? これはどうですか明日はクラスを休んでもいいですか So this ne, this sentence is to ask for permission. May I be absent from class tomorrow? 明日はクラスを休んでもいいですかでは最後のクイズです。Okay, here's the last quiz for you. This time I listed the verbs in plain form. Can you read these verbs and choose the meaning for each verb? Please pause the video here and take as much time as you need. では答えです。OK, here are the answers. Hana su, taberu, yasumu, miru, iu, nomu. I hope you now feel more comfortable reading these kanji for Japanese verbs. I'll continue with six more verbs in the next lesson. Find the link to the next lesson in the shoma section below. 
try other JLPT exercises on my playlist. You can go to the list at smilenihongo.com slash JLPT videos. では、また次のレッスンで会いましょう。